Fluorence comes in two kits, single patient and a double patient kit. The single patient kit has one gingival barrier, two 3cc hydrogen peroxide uh, liquids and powder each containing 0.3 grams of powder. The powder has to be combined with the liquid and then dispensed onto the teeth using these micro brushes or dispensed using a tip as per your convenience. It has the instructions for use manual where all the instructions are given. This is a single patient kit one bottle and one powder is for one sitting and after one sitting office sitting you will have to do remineralizing using our proprietary bio enamel gel which consists of uh, no mean which is calcium sodium phosphosilicate it helps decreasing sensitivity of tooth coming to the two patient kits Kit consists of four bottles of zero point um, four bottles of three cc hydrogen peroxide and four powder compartments of one point three cc of powder. There is a blank bottle in case you want to mix smaller portions if the number of teeth are less. It has two gingival barriers and four applicator tips and four micro brushes for application. Even this has an instruction for use, instructions to be followed by the dentist. Uh, so two bottles of hydrogen peroxide and two bottles, two containers of powder are used for one patient. Two settings, each setting going for around 20 minutes followed by one week of remineralization using our proprietary bio enamel gel which is uh, calcium sodium bioglass based or novamine based and then there is another sitting using the second powder and the liquid. For a single application you need 3 ml of liquid and 1.3 cc of powder 3 ml of grams of powder. The hydrogen peroxide is dispensed into the powder to make this thick viscous gel. The whole mixture is mixed using a plastic spatula. This has to be mixed thoroughly and loaded onto a syringe or applied directly onto the tooth. Um, you can load this directly onto the tooth using a micro brush by just picking it and applying on the tooth or you can load it into a syringe Take a 2 or 3 cc syringe, put the plunger away and it can be loaded using a spatula. Faster loading, you can try another alternative technique, dispensing the gel onto uh, oil and pervious paper. And then taking the syringe and loading it quickly.
make sure the top end is open so that there is an air escape. Capping it like this is wrong because the air entrapped will not escape through. So the cap should be removed before trying this kind of a fillet. After complete filling, wipe the excess and then the plunger can be reloaded. Then a black tip can be loaded onto the front end and your whitening gel is ready to be applied. You can see the gel being dispensed easily onto this. So there are two modes directly using a brush onto the tooth or load it onto a syringe and apply it onto the tooth. Yes. 